Hello everyone. Welcome to the application delivery how to video series. My name is Mithali. Today we are going to cover the topic of how to set up the load balancing for VMware Horizon. Before going to the configuration part, let's understand the sample topology. So here I have two UAG servers and Avi is sitting in front of these UAG servers to load balance the traffic. Um, on Avi, we have a shared WIP with two virtual services, L7 and L4. L7 virtual service is responsible for the uh, primary protocol traffic that is uh, XML API traffic and secondary uh, traffic will be handled by L4 virtual service. Secondary traffic is basically a blast or PC over IP. Then I also have the sample DNS entries here. In the sample DNS entries, all the F QDNs, the FQTN of AVI virtual service and the UAG servers, all are pointing to the same IP address. That is the IP address of my virtual service. This is important because we want to route all the traffic through AVI. We don't want to bypass the traffic. Uh, I mean, we don't want to bypass AVI for any of these traffic. So uh, let me show you the configuration now. So this is my AVI controller here. On, uh, on AVI controller, you can see under virtual services, I have two virtual services, L7 and L4 virtual service, and both are uh, sharing the same IP address. That is this, 192.232. Now, this is my L7 virtual service. I have opened, uh, I have it opened in another tab. So this is the IP address. Here, uh, it is listening on port 443 with SSL enabled. The application profile is this, secure HTTP VDI, this is important. Then we have the pool. Pool is a representation of my backend servers. That is my UAG servers. So under pool settings, we have the load balancing algorithm. It could be least connection or round rock bin. And then uh, this is the monitor to monitor the health of UAG servers. If UAG servers are down, then we mark the UAG servers down so that we don't send the traffic to those UAG server. Then SSL needs to be enabled and the SSL profile we need to mind. This is system standard here. Under servers, uh, we need to mention the IP address of our UAT servers. So these are my UAT servers here. Once this is done, then we have to bind the SL profile to the virtual service and the proper Horizon certificate needs to be installed and bound to the virtual service. After this, we need to go to policies. Under policies, we, uh, uh, we have to go to HTTP request and here we have to create the policies uh, based on the host header. So basically what we are doing here is we are doing the host header lookup if the host header begins with this, which is the FQDN of my UAG server one, then send the traffic to UAG server one, that is 153. If the host header is the FQDN of UAG server two, which is like uag2.site1.com, then send the traffic to UAG server two. So basically depending on the host header, we are sending the traffic to one of the UAG servers. Once this is done, my L7 con configuration is complete. Now I'll show you the L4 configuration. This is my L4 virtual service. Uh, the application profile here is system L4. Again, this is important. Then uh, I have L4 pool. So L4 pool is pretty much same as L7. Uh, the same uh, load balancing algorithm, the same monitor. We don't have to enable SSL here. Uh, the default uh, port is different. And then servers. In the servers, we have to add the UAG servers. But this time, we need to explicitly mention the port numbers also because this uh, this is for the BLAST and PC over IP traffic, and UAG listens on these ports for BLAST and PC over IP. So we need to explicitly mention these port numbers. Then uh, on virtual service, on virtual service configuration, under service port, you have to switch to advanced. Right now, I'm already under advanced, but you'll get the option here. Uh, instead of switch to basic, you'll get switch to advanced. So you have to click on that. Then you'll get this. And we have to uh, enable all these ports with both TCP and UDP as well, with the proper UDP profile. Then the last configuration option, uh, configuration entity is the data script. So here I have a data script already bound. And this is my pool here. We have to bind it to the L4 pool. Um, and then this is my data script. This data script is there in our KBs. So basically we are checking the port here and based on the port, we are sending the traffic to the UAG server with the proper port. So we are doing the port translation and we are selecting the UAG server um, based on these ports. Okay, so this is pretty much it with my AVI configuration. Now let me quickly show you the UAG configuration as well. These are my two UAG servers, this one and this another one here. So on UAG, we have to see a few important things like uh, this is my PC over IP URL. It is pointing to the IP address of my AVI virtual service with the custom ported 5001. 
So on UHS server two, it will be five zero zero two. Similarly, blast here is pointing to UHS server one FQDN with four zero zero one port here. On UHS server two, it will be pointing to UHS server two FQDN with port four zero zero two. And the last setting is the host redirect mapping. There we have source host and redirect host. The source host should be RV virtual service uh, FQDN, and the redirect host should be the FQDN of the UHS server itself. So with this, the uh, config, all the configuration knobs are covered. Thank you for watching this. Please do watch the other exciting videos of this how-to series. Thank you.